Okay, I want to show you some working with functions. So here, we're given the function f that pairs x with the expression 2x minus 1, a function g that pairs x with x squared plus 1. All this notation gets really hard to read, so what I do is I circle the equation parts, because that's really what you're going to work with. Now, this is the f function, this is the g function. So that becomes important, okay? So there's the f function, there's the g function. So if I say to find f of 2, you need to figure out which one of these two equations do you go to to find f of 2. And you go to the f of x equation. So I rewrite that. f of x equals 2x minus 1. So f of 2 would be 2 times 2 minus 1 which would be 4 minus 1, which would be 3. So f of 2 equals 3. All right, here's another tricky question. What if I said to find g of 2? How do you know which equation to use? There's two different equations. The g equation, right. So then, g, so then I write g of x equals x squared plus 2. So g of 2 means to go 2 squared plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6. g of 2 equals 6. That wasn't so bad. All right, now we're going to get a tricky one. f of g of 2. Oh boy, that one's tricky. The first thing I do is I figure out g of 2. And do you know what the answer to g of 2 is? Well, we already did that one, and we got an answer of 6. So now I'm going to just replace that. g of 2 is 6, so now this becomes f of 6. And how do I find f of 6? I go to the f of x equation. f of x equals 2x minus 1. So how do I do f of 6? All right, plug it in. So 2 times 6 minus 1. 2 times 6 is 12, minus 1, 11. So f of g of 2 equals 11. f of g of 2 equals 11. All right, now I'm going to try even a trickier one. You ready? All right, what if I had g of f of 2? Right? I did f of g of 2. Well, what's g of f of 2? We'll go to the inside first, f of 2. Which equation do I find the answer for f of 2? Right there. So let's do that. f of 2 would equal 2 times 2, 2 times 2 minus 1, 4 minus 1, 3. So I take that 3 and I replace it. So now I have g of 3. Which equation do I go to? the g equation. So, g of x is x squared plus 1, so g of 3 is going to be 3 squared plus 1. 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. So, my final answer for, for g of f of 2 is equal to 10. There's the final answer on that one. You had two steps to do. You can do things like that. Good luck.